Balloons released four times daily from the Geophysical Observatory at Castavine, County Kerry, play an important part in providing people of the nation with an accurate forecast of weather conditions. The principal basis of weather forecasting is having information on pressure, temperature and humidity in the upper atmosphere. And this is the function of the balloon, or rather the equipment that the balloon lifts 16 miles up into the sky over County Kerry. Mr. Sean McWilliams, officer in charge of the observatory at Carzevin, puts us into the picture about the radio sound can, as the balloon and radio combination is properly called. But the balloon is uh, filled with hydrogen. It's made of uh, rubber, very best quality rubber. It's filled with hydrogen, and the amount of hydrogen that we put into it uh, controls the uh, rate at which the balloon will rise. The uh, normal what, what rate... What is the rate of, the, of ascent? The uh, normal rate is uh, between 1,300 and 1,500 feet per minute. and uh, But sometimes we... Uh, we will get that with a uh, relatively small amount of hydrogen at other times depending on atmospheric conditions we have to put in more to get the same rate we can't really uh, fix it very accurately but approximately between 13 and 1500 will be sufficient and what goes up with the balloon well we have uh, the principal item of equipment that goes up with the balloon is the uh, radio transmitter uh, i have one of them here in my hand which will probably give you an idea of what it's all about it's complete fully fledged three-valve radio transmitter. And um, what is the function of it? The uh, function of it is to measure pressure, temperature and humidity mm -hmm. in the upper atmosphere. The, uh, we have three elements here. One of them is a small aneroid pressure element mm -hmm. which will measure the pressure. And uh, as the aneroid pressure element changes, it changes the value of an electrical inductance which will alter the frequency of the signal uh, given out by the transmitter yes so that as the pressure changes the frequency of the signal of the transmitter will change similarly with the temperature we have a small violet metallic spiral here which uh, will vary with the temperature mm -hmm. and we'll get then the signal varying with the temperature yes what is the third element here for uh, this one is for humidity it uh, consists of a little piece of gold beater skin here, it's, which is taken from the inside of an Australian cow, and it possesses the same property as the human hair. It expands or contracts with varying moisture content, but is unaffected by pressure, temperature or humidity. And the, the windmill here? Well, we have the three signals, so it's, naturally there's no good in having them all coming in together. The windmill operates a three-point three switch, mm -hmm. so that the signals are uh, brought into circuit in rotation. First mm -hmm. a pressure, next temperature and next humidity and so on as the transmitter ascends up into the atmosphere. Well, does this uh, balloon disappear into space? Uh, or, oh yes, it, it travels up uh, and as it's travelling upwards naturally the pressure is decreasing mm. and as the pressure decreases the balloon is expanding it will reach the limit of expansion of the rubber mm. and the balloon will burst and at that stage the parachute takes over and brings the whole lot of equipment down to earth again. But can, can this be a hazard? When it's, when, it, when it's coming down to earth? Oh, very small, kind of the only small number. Of them. This is the only station in this country sending these up, we're only the one. So the uh, hazard would be small, as long as it's kept away from airports. You couldn't have them going up around airports, naturally. Well, where are they likely to be found? Anywhere within a limit of probably about 150 to 2 miles radius from here. The distance that they travel depends, of course, upon the wind speed, and the direction they travel depends upon the wind direction. Mm -hmm. But what is the return rate like here? You, you do get we, some get about, uh, we get about 50% of them back. Mm -hmm. We uh, have a label attached to the transmitter asking the finder to let us know and when we hear from them we send them out of box. They send uh, the instrument back to us and we give them 10 shillings reward and pay their expenses for sending it back. And, um, how is the information received here in Casavine? Uh From the, from from the, the uh, transmitter sending yes. out signals and of course uh, in the uh, main building we have uh, receiving equipment receiving those signals and measuring the frequency. Once the frequency is measured it's only a matter of converting from frequency back to pressure, temperature and humidity as the case may be. Can we see the see or hear the signals coming back? Oh yes, we can uh, both see uh, the uh, oper equipment in operation and hear the uh, three signals. Can we have a look at it? Yes, we'd like to walk now to the main building. You can hear the signals coming in here now. They're being received by this uh, shortwave receiver operating on the 10 meter band. 
and they are be the frequency of the three signals is being counted by the uh, equipment and plotted on automatically on this chart here. If you have a good ear for music, I'm sure you can hear the uh, three different uh, beats, three different uh, the frequency of the three signals. Yes. Well, I can. And no, uh, there's one different sound anyway. Yes. Well, uh, this uh, the signals, the frequency is plotted on this sheet here, and this man is drawn up as a graph, and uh, the frequency uh, will be converted into uh, pressure on the one hand, and the uh, temperature and also humidity. Before the transmitters go up at all, they are calibrated so that we have three graphs of pressure versus frequency, temperature versus frequency, and uh, humidity versus frequency. So it's only a matter of converting from the frequencies to the pressure, to the pressure, temperature, and humidity. But how does the information that you get here fit into the general weather forecast picture? Well, the information here supplements the information that is got from uh, all the surface stations all over the world. The uh, pardon, the information in the upper air of course is uh, much more valuable than the surface information yes. because the air in the upper level is unaffected by the surface friction uh, at the surface you have surface friction and various local and um, topographical influences whereas in the upper air you have you're free from all that and you have a chance of getting the true values of uh, the air temperature pressure and humidity but where do you send your inf information to from here uh, we send it direct to shannon by uh, normally by fixed time telephone call, occasionally by uh, teleprinter, uh, telex rather, and uh, Shannon distributed to uh, Bracknell in England, mm -hmm. and by uh, teleprinter link, link up, and uh, Bracknell uh, distributed to Europe, and it's uh, broadcast for general world consumption.